Do we flew, we gotta beat 16 pounds. GTs do that. I mean, these guys really do remind me a lot of GTs. They got that aggressive, just, I wanna eat and kill nature. Oh yeah. Two times that size though, two times that size. There he is. Look at that beast. Absolute stud. 12 pounder, my biggest peacock yet. Another one, another one. Dude, is this for real? <laughs> Somebody like slap me, dude, because I think I'm dreaming. You've caught a eight, a 10, 11, and a 12 pounder all in one spot, all in the same lure and the same freaking body of water. Time is running out, the clock is ticking, and the window for a giant is slowly closing in on me. It's incredible to think how many anglers leave the Amazon empty-handed without ever knowing what a double-digit peacock looks like. This is my second year in the Amazon and attempts to find that one mega fish. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> that is one way to start day two here in the Amazon. My biggest peacock bass ever. Since we've landed in Brazil, each day has been spent fishing and filming nonstop in the jungle heat. Louis taking us to a sweet little lagoon. Just took this tiny little passageway, this area where it opens up. At this point in the trip, I'm starting to realize there's no room for error. Couldn't tell you what time it is, couldn't tell you what day of the week it is. All I know is that we are still in the Amazon. We are still chasing after some bigs. Throughout this trip, it's been kind of interesting to pick everyone's brain. At the end of the day, we come home for dinner and it seems like consistently most of the bigger fish have been coming on surface baits. And there's a few Brazilian guys in the boat. Picked their brain this morning and was asking them, you know, like, how have you guys been catching them? They haven't caught anything giant, no like 16, 19 pounders, but they have been catching some good DDs. And the one thing that the guy told me is he's been throwing a lot of uh, big Sammy baits like this size and he'll like rip it really fast and then stop it. He'll like kill it. It's something I haven't been doing this trip at all. And uh, today I'm going to use the opportunity to try something a little bit different. Just one good bite. That's what we're fishing for today. One bite, 12 hours, one bite. That's it. Simple, right? Still on it. Thank you. Spook. Back to the spook.
Oh, nice one. Nice one. About time. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Mm hmm. Did I say it was a nice one? Yep. I think I might have. Not really moving much. Just kind of swimming towards us. I'm definitely not moving this fish. Wow, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. A Sioux. Big a Sioux. Oh my god. Drag is good right now. I don't know how big, but it's big. But it's big. Right there. Right there. Oh. God. oh. It's a good fish. Good fish. This is a fight. This is a fight. My drag is pretty damn locked too. This fish is just pulling my already locked spool right now. Oh my God. Oh, it's a pretty good fish. How big? You don't know. 13. Wow, 13. Louis saying 13. I'm gonna bring it right towards you. I'm gonna alley oop this fish to you. She's not coming up. Come on, don't pull those hooks. This is where it gets kind of scary right here. Right there. Jesus, this fish is fighting really hard. It's a big one, Louis. It's a big one, yeah. It's a big one. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's oh, a, big, a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. She's gonna jump. She's gonna jump. Got her. Got her. Oh my God! Oh, oh, <laughs> holy! Shit, how big? Seventeen pounds. Seventeen pounds? Yeah. No. Yeah. Seventeen. Sixteen is seventeen. Might be sixteen or yeah, seventeen. Yeah, big sixteen. Look at that. See? Wow, that is a stud, buddy. Wow. Oh, barely hooked. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, that is a giant fish. Oh, Thank you. Breaking PVs after PVs. You. Look at this. Thank you. <laughs> that is a stud. 16 pounder. Never in my entire life have I ever seen a peacock bass this big in person. That is a true beast. And what I tell you guys, you had to grind it out. This, this is my third fish of the day. We've been fishing forever, all morning. And that is the beast, the Brazilian beast we have been hunting for all week, all week for this fish. Oh, big us soup. This is a good spot, it's a big fish. We were this on the water, little more water is 17, 18. Big catch it 20 pounds. It's, it's a little late like that. We worked hard. Yes. Good. Look at this giant fish. Oh my god. It's incredible. There we have it. All week for this fish, baby. It's kind of like my thing to get in the water with any big fish that I catch. I've done it with GTs, I've done it with tarpon and now we're in the Amazon with this big beauty 16 pounds it just becomes a whole nother fish not only am I just amazed by their power but their beauty is insane too it's not a big mean ugly fish they're so pretty you wouldn't think a fish with these colors and that look <laughs> would destroy a setup like we've been throwing today also take a look how big their eyes are too almost human like 
Like they've got these giant freaking eyeballs and you can almost feel like they're just looking at you. Like they know what's up. Like they know they've lost and now they're ready to get dunked back. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get one or two more pictures and then put this big beauty back. That's like the coolest part is we're releasing these guys. And that's why I like getting the water with them too, just because it's like, you know, it's like a full on release, a full on proper release. Let's get one more pick and then put her back. Ready? Sweet. All right, now for my favorite part, the release. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this dude. Come on, get big kicks, big kicks. Get that down there. Eat some more cichlids. He's gone. Just like that, like disappeared. Whew, Louie. <laughs> this right here is the man. <laughs> I didn't fish with him that much last year, but the few times I've fished with him, we caught big fish, we caught many fish. This year, I've had the pleasure to fish with Louis on the Klua, and it started off with a 10, then it was followed by the 8, the 10, the 11, the 12, and then today, second to last day in Brazil, a 16 pounder. That is sick, man. That is so <laughs> sick. Thank you, my friend. Oh, this man's the best. If you guys come on the Klua, ask for Louis. He's the man. <laughs> Always feels good to catch the big fish at the end of the trip. So many times. I can't tell you how many times this has happened to me, especially on film. Like, it's not like a broken record here, but the GT in Komodo, that was the last day. My biggest bass ever I caught on the first day in Mexico. That one doesn't really correlate to this scenario. But you guys know what I'm saying. I bet I could go a lot, I bet I could honestly go back in a lot of my videos, find some big fish, find some epic fish, catches that have happened on the very last moment of a trip. Perfect example. This is what makes it so much more rewarding is when you work this hard, when you've got a good team, everyone's kind of pushing for you, trying to get that one fish, whether it be cutting down trees or getting the B-roll or whatever, it's like everything has to kind of add up. And along with that, it's especially cool like from a personal level, like I get to watch what ha kind of happened because in my mind, it happens so freaking quick. But when I watch the footage, it's like, oh wow, I can kind of savor that moment. That's why I advocate for any of you guys out there, whether you fish ponds or you do big trips, like film it. Who cares if you don't post anywhere, it doesn't matter. You're gonna wish a year from now, five years from now, that you would have captured that experience on like a GoPro or anything, you know? Just film it, man. Film it and fish it. Now, uh, here's the funny part is uh, about 20 minutes ago, we were chasing after only bigs, like the biggest eat in the river. And now we're looking for small fish and small fish only. Today we're gonna do the traditional on the beach Amazonian catch and cook kind of deal. You know me, I'm not a massive fan of catch and cooks, but this is like one of the coolest places in my opinion to do it. Go on the beach, you set things up. It's just really neat because it's like you're eating a really tasty fish at an amazing element. Like, like going to the beach and, and just cooking up some fish is like so rad, especially where we're at today. So right now we're looking for mini fish. Oh, 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 oh I got him, got him. That's lunch, maybe. Damn it! <laughs> I knew it would have. Of course, it's a freaking speckled. This is like the only one we can't eat. <laughs> Try your time. Yes! Lunch! Lunch! Nice one, eh? That'll do. Come here. Oh, that's a good one. Come here, come here, come here. Is that big enough? That's not big. Is that good or no? Yes! Lunch! <laughs> nice, B. That was clutch. Big trayer. That's big snack. Nice job, Bryant. Bryant's over here on catch duty. Big snack. Oh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Uh, pretty big, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big one. Big, big, big. Nice one. Holy smokes, that's a pretty damn good triura. Oh yeah, look at the size of that one, Louie. That's a good one. That's a big one. I'll hand him to you. That's a freaking nice one, man. And in the meat locker, he goes. Nice, nice job, Louie. You're welcome. Boom.
Million years would never thought a fish that looks like that tastes like this. It's so good. Is there a first time? It reminds me of grouper. Yeah, this remi try reminds me a lot of grouper. It's like firm. It's firm, right? Crazy firm. Like it's more firm than grouper, dude. It's crazy. I think it's, it's, cra it's crazy. I think it's awesome. Oh, This is a, there's really no better way to, to celebrate an amazing day of fishing than to get on the beach, have an amazing meal, have a few beers, have a few, uh, what is this, what are we drinking? Skull? Have a few skulls and uh, reminisce on what the trip has already been, what it's already become. We still have another day tomorrow, and then after that we have another half day, we head back to Barcelos and then got a little surprise for you guys, but I'm not gonna ruin that because that's gonna be uh, kind of a fun video. I don't know. I don't know. I, it, it may be bad. It may be good, but I'm anticipating it. I'm anticipating it to be pretty dope. But um, yeah, this is just insane. Also, one thing I want to mention too. I keep advocating for you guys to come to the Amazon. But one thing I want to do for you guys, if you want to do this, is I want to leave like a kind of like a packing list or like a to-do list in the description below for all the things that I think you guys should either pick up or bring before you come to the Amazon. I'm not gonna be like, you know, like oh, grab this, this, and this. Like actual essentials, like stuff that you will use on a daily basis here in the rainforest here in Brazil. So that's just something, side note. But um, right now we are just straight chilling. Straight chilling, it feels so good. My blood pressure right now is like down here. <laughs> it's a lot different than what it was this morning when that peacock was hooked up. But I think that is probably gonna do it for today's video. I really, really love you guys. I wanna say thank you for sticking with the series and enjoying it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, at least. Peace and out, signing out. Thank you guys for watching today's video. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.